Hello everyone, my name is Silence Creature and welcome back to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Yeah, I probably botched that intro. <laughs> uh, forgive me. Um, this is going to be episode 2 now. How about that? Uh, last we left off, we completed the uh, prologue mission. Uh, where we had to obtain some credentials, a new mercenary license. Um, yeah, that went pretty well, as well as it could be. Got my butt handed to me about three times. Two, three. Somebody lucky try for me. I think it was two. But, uh, yeah, on the third and lucky try, I managed to get that mini-boss down. At least I think it was a mini-boss. Um... But yeah, now we're here in the uh, garage section of the game. And it turns out, I remember saying from last uh, episode that uh, I would not get the training missions just yet. I thought I was going to get it a little later on. But apparently it's over here in the sortie menu under uh, training missions. Right there. So... What I have planned is, if there's ever a new training mission that pops up, I think I'll include it in the video. Just so we can see the uh, progress. Oh, and I'm guessing you're noticing that my AC is different. That's because I uh, preloaded the uh, design from the down... Uh, not the download, the presets here. I think we got that from the uh, first mission when we scanned that downed AC that had the actual credentials that we needed. And yeah, so I'm going to go back to the loader 4 preset, as that's what we're used to. And I would like to upgrade my design over time. This was just used to uh, practice some moves and get used to controllers. Uh, the controls on my controller. So we're just gonna load that up. Yes. Alright. There we go. Oh, that's kinda cool, actually. <laughs> I love I love the garage features like that. Um, so, yeah. Before we start the second mission... Uh, I want to try the training missions and see how that goes. Uh, once again, um, I'll be participating in a PvP tournament. I'll be posting the details down in the description below. Uh, check it out. Subscribe to uh, Dirk Donk as well. He'll be hosting it on Twitch as well as uh, Celtic Spear. And once again, I don't know those two. Um, I only know of Dirk Dunk's video. That's where I got the uh, announcement to do the tournament. Uh, hopefully they find this video uh, very supportive if they ever get a chance to see it. Alright, so without further ado, let's uh, give this a shot. Loading. To land shots on moving enemies, you must pull the trigger while they are within lock-on range, where the target tracking is active. Then hold the right trigger for right hand one, but that's something we already learned. Ooh. Ooh. So the magazines will automatically reload when the magazine's ammunition is depleted. Manually reload before engaging the enemy to minimize the risk that your text will be interrupted by a reload. Cool. That was the, uh... Right. Boom, boom. Correct. Missile lock. To use missiles and other homing rounds, keep the enemy on screen until lock-on completes, then fire. 
uh, some missile weapons are capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously by holding the input for the weapon. I'll press Y to cancel the multi-lock. equipped to the left hand require a risky close range approach but have a high attack power impact and are useful for destroying shields Detect nearby enemies or containers that hold AC parts by scanning. Oh, I should have done that in the beginning of the, uh, the first mission. That would have been nice. Any objects that were detected in by the skin would be temporarily highlighted. If an enemy is detected, you'll be able to achieve lock-on even through walls or out of the cover. Hey, program complete. A little sloppy, but uh, I'll figure it out. Machine gun, MG14 Ludlow. Very nice. Okay. So, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna add that gun to my current AC. And, uh, yeah, I'll meet you back here in a few moments. Okay, so we're back. Uh, that was pretty quick. Uh, I added the, uh, machine gun to him. It. it might be a little weird, maybe a little bit difficult to handle, but, uh, you know, we're in the, uh, we're in the business of trying things out. So, why not? Alright, let's get to the actual mission. Um, I don't know if it goes the same route as Armored Core 4 or Verdict Day where it's like you pick a mission and then that's a branch that you have to stay on till you know, something else happens. Or if it was just Verdict Day where you could just complete all the missions on the list. Then again, I don't even know if 5 and Verdict Day were similar designs in terms of the missions. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see. Extra reward based on number of... I think I'll do this one. I do need the cash. So let's begin this one. And it looks like we're still on chapter chapter one. Alright. Let's get at it. Got a job for you, 621. Cool. This is an open call from the Balaam Group. One of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Attention all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dotham. The Rubicon Liberation Front has deployed Baos artillery throughout the contaminated city. The city itself has no strategic value. 
We cannot allow them to hinder expansion of the Coral Survey. Show us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery. Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. We want the enemy weakened. Roger that. Consider it an opportunity to prove yourself. Impress us, mercenaries! That guy's trying way too hard. Oh, you could... Oh, okay, so you could load up your previously built ACs here. Build them right then and there. Listen to that guy once more, or just head on out. And we're gonna head on out. The client doesn't care who does this job. As long as it gets done. Half of me wonders if we're going to get ousted as a imposter. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. Destroy all of the Rubicon Liberation Front's artillery placements. Let's get in. Up we go. Up we go. We're clear here. Move on to the next site, six two one. That was the cool. final site. Keep up the good work. Let's see if we could find a uh, missing AC card. I don't know, this guy backs the hell off. Yeah, that was pretty sloppy of me. Ouch.
artillery here and our work is over. It'll be in ashes, all right. Oh boy, I should not talk. Okay, hang on. Okay. Okay. That could have been a little bit better, but you know what? Oh god, I filled around too much. <laughs> I filled around too much. I filled around too much. Okay. Okay. We'll do better. We'll do better. I was really trying to look for the uh destroy all of the Rubicon Liberation Fronts the uh the AC part.
Fox. Don't give them another inch. We have to defend the artillery. Cool. Sorry for being quiet a little bit. <laughs> Let's see what I did. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so paid in 170,000 bucks. 170,800 dollars. Base pay, bonus pay. It's not bad. <clears throat> not too bad on the expenses either. Cool. Uh, let's see what that third mission is up there. One new message. This is a notification from All Mind, the mercenary support system. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your return to mercenary activities has been acknowledged. Restoring access to the parts shop. Ooh. See, that's what I needed. The training. Very cool. Let's see what we got here. Mm, 
purchase AC parts sold by the various corporations and factions from the buy menu. More parts will be available for purchase as you progress through the story or meet certain conditions. Very cool. A oh, bazooka, holy shit. Burst rifle. Oh no, it's more just saying I just have this one. It's for the Turner. I kinda like this sword. It helps. A lot. Mmm. The heck is that? Hmm, a shield unit. Another missile launcher. Compact two cell dual. Okay. Um, well, I won't bore you guys with the. Uh, oh, that was nice. Uh, the parts assembly that I think I'm gonna have to uh, do on my own. Uh, oh god, these are expensive. Oh my god. This one makes it look like he got punched in the stomach. Huh. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'll just, um, do the, uh, assembly off screen so that way I don't have to bore you. Uh, let's check the, uh, sortie. Oh, okay. Um, so. I think in the next episode, I think we're going to call it here. In the next episode, we'll take up the uh, the next mission, Grid 135 Cleanup. Um, I'll go ahead and experiment with the uh, build later. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually utilize the sword. I did practice a little bit in the uh, AC test simulator, and I think... I think I like where I'm going with it, so we're gonna stick with that build for the most part. Um, I do understand that uh, I should build in accordance to the mission, depending, and we will. Um, but for now, let's just stick to what we're comfortable with. So that's gonna be it for today's episode. Uh, it would mean the world to me if everyone would just uh, like, favorite, and subscribe, share with your friends and family. And until the next episode, uh, take care of yourselves.